Hi there, this is Ishan. So first let me remind you that I don't take any responsibility if anything happens to device. So yeah, do note that before doing anything to your device. And first of all, copy the GApps as well as the ROM file to your smartphone and uh, make sure that you have the latest TWRP recovery that is version 3. And now reboot into your TWRP and once you are rebooted in the TWRP you can back up your ROM if you want to I have already backed up mine now tap on wipe button and then go on to advanced swipe and in advanced swipe choose dalvik system cache and data and then swipe this wipe Now once you have completely wiped your phone, now tap on the install tile and uh, in the install tile you have to choose AICP underscore Ferrari MM unofficial dot zip and then swipe this to confirm flash. So now it may take time around 5 to 10 minutes so you can set back and relax. And do note that if you are running on MI UI 7 it won't work you have to flash an additional file I will link that file in the description below now once you are done uh, use the wipe cache slash dialog button and then swipe and now go back using the home button and then again tap on the install tile and choose open G apps I'm using micro one and then again swipe this to confirm flash so it may also take time around 5 to 10 minutes so so once it's done you have to tap on white cache slash dalvik and then again swipe and now tap on reboot system so rebooting into system may take time around 15 to 20 minutes so yeah do make sure that before panicking Now once the startup page appears, you have to set up your phone, I am going to set up mine and come back with a small review. So now guys let's quickly take a look at the Android iSchool project for Xiaomi Mi 4i. So first let's quickly jump into the settings and uh, in settings in about, then in about phone to see what Android version it is running and let me zoom in a bit. And it is running the latest Android version that is version 6.0.1 but the security patch level is quite outdated and it does contain its own kernel and in developer options we do find the root access option but it isn't present there we have to manually flash super su via twrp so that's kind of deal breaker for me and now let's quickly take a look at the memory session and in the memory we get 852 mb free so that's okay for this rom now let's take a look at the battery life and as you can see here the battery life is pretty poor and I kinda expected more from this ROM but it is a huge disappointment. 
and now let's take a look at the personalization section and in it we find AICP extras which doesn't do anything just providing change log downloads so it's kind of waste here and all the basic functionalities Wi-Fi Bluetooth and portable hotspot work and now let's quickly take a look at the pre-installed app present in this ROM so first of all of them is the camera app in this ROM the camera app is uh, completely different from the camera apps I have seen in other CM13 ROM and I think so it adds more functionality but the biggest bug is present in the camera app only uh, let me quickly take a photo and the biggest bug in this ROM is it can't save pictures which are taken from the camera app so that's a pretty major bug which needs to be resolved ASAP and the ROM has the same bugs as other CM13 ROMs I have tested like the flashlight type missing from the notification area but in this ROM luckily FM radio is in force closing so these guys try to fix that problem and they will fix these bugs also and this marks the end of the video and I want to see you guys in my next one. Till then, this is Sean signing off and peace out.